to live at Heath Farms over the summer. My name is Troy Thompson and I am a senior here at UT Tyler. My name is Brad Douglas. I am a senior at UT Tyler. My major is mass communication with a minor in graphic design and a focus on multimedia journalism. I'm an English major with mass comm minor. This semester I'm taking four classes, which is about 15 hours, because one of them is an advanced course. I'm taking advanced Spanish 2, um, writing for mass media, media design and publication, and also a survey of romantic literature. I'm taking 15 hours. Is news writing, advanced multimedia news, um, <laughs> fundamentals of management, retelling in the 21st century, and political communication. And uh, how do you feel about this semester starting out? Uh, relatively positive. Like, uh, I mean, every other semester has gone pretty well with my grades and everything, so it should go well. Uh, in my family, a lot of people are pessimistic, but I try to not shut stuff down before it happens. Like, I just try to go into it thinking not necessarily everything's going to be okay, but it's just going to be fine. And uh, how do you feel this semester starting off? I feel pretty good. I think I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try my best to ace everything and keep a high GPA. Okay. Uh, I'm, some of these classes I've never taken, like management I've never taken, so I have no idea what to expect. And uh, retailing, I don't know what to expect either. So basically, I don't know what to expect, but the other ones, I'm sure I'm going to do just fine. Generally, do you get stressed out with schoolwork? Not with schoolwork, but I usually get stressed out with the day-to-day -day routine. Um, it's probably not the best answer, but I, I generally procrastinate a lot. I don't generally study because um, I can just kind of, I'm really good at taking tests. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I... I'm just going to kind of figure out, I have strategies for every teacher, I kind of figure out their, how they give tests and assignments and I can kind of base my stuff off of that. So My plan is going to be try and stick to uh, a sleep schedule, like go to bed at this time, wake up at this time, uh, try to at least get something to eat because that's a problem of mine, I don't normally eat throughout the day, so just generally taking care of myself. Have those been problems in the past? They have. And halfway through the, sem through the semester, it's like you run out of money, you start staying up late to cram, you don't get enough sleep, you feel like crap, you know. For um, other seniors that uh, feel more nervous or pessimistic about um, going into their semesters and trying to finish things up, so what would you say to them? They're nervous, uh, I'll say just relax. If you, go to, if you go to class every single day, don't miss, don't miss class. You're paying thousands of dollars. It'd be dumb to miss class. So just go to every single class, have a relationship with your professor, and, and, and you'll be fine. I mean, it's, school's easy. College is really, really easy if you do that. I'm Marianna Kidd, and I teach here at the University of Texas at Tyler. I teach mass communication, speech communication, and some graduate classes in topics ranging from public relations writing to propaganda and public opinion to media theory. Mm. Students, I think students and teachers all face similar issues. You know, you're all eager and up and going at the beginning of the semester. And then as assignments and everything pile up on top of each other, you start getting tired. And I think it also depends on the focus on the projects and realizing the value of the projects that when students are more engaged, they stay engaged longer in the semester, but everyone's tired at the end. Goodness, I really think the attitudes of the students vary more according to where they are in their program, whether they're like freshmen or seniors, than it does whether it's fall or spring. Um, spring, if you have upper graduate, under, you know, upperclassmen, speak today. If you have upperclassmen, 
especially seniors in spring, they get senioritis and they end up thinking a lot about graduation and a little bit less about class. And so sometimes I see a big difference there. Freshmen are more likely to be more hesitant and less, you know, freshmen or sophomores or sometimes even transferred in juniors are a little bit more hesitant and less, you know, not less engaged, but less sure of themselves in the fall. And then you can see a big difference between them in spring because they've got one semester under their belt and they're more confident about what to do on campus. So it varies greatly. You know, whether seniors seem more stressed than freshmen or sophomores. They have bigger assignments and more challenging classes. Truthfully, it varies so much according to the person and that person's course load, because we do have seniors. We have seniors that have 12 hours, and two of the classes are really hard, and two of the classes are not as hard, you know. And then we have seniors that are 15 hours, and all, all of those classes are upper division, and all of those classes are really challenging. So I think it's more based on the combination of classes than whether it's a freshman or a sophomore or a senior. Um, um, could you get up for the interview, please? No. How are you feeling about uh, how the semester went? I feel like if I didn't ace everything, then I maybe have one B, which doesn't matter because my goal, if, if, if I make one B, it's not going to negatively affect anything and I'll be able to still graduate with the GPA that I want. Um, how are you feeling about the end of this semester? Dead. Did you uh, ever feel overwhelmed? Nope. What's the word for past being overwhelmed? Um, there's a word for it, I'm sure. Did you find yourself stressed or needing relaxing activities or anything like that? No, not really. No, I don't even have time for that. How do you feel about your finals? Um, they're a little bit scary, but I just know it's part of the process of college, so I'm just getting through them. I like crap. It was stressful. For me, honestly, it just feels like another test. That's what finals always feel like to me. It's one one step closer to graduating. <laughs> I just want to go home. Like, I'm honestly, tired. Honestly, that's the main thing that makes me get over finals. Just the thought of Yeah, home. having that motivation to hang yeah. about to go home with summer break. When we approach finals week, I always look at my students and it's only part jokingly. I tell them I have another assignment for them and I'm going to go out and at least spend half an hour, preferably a day, do something fun because that break helps break the stress and it helps you concentrate better once you've broken that stress and gotten your mind away from all of the turmoil around classes and everything.